on today's episode of Fix It Your Motherfuckers here, we're on the locksmith edition. We're going to program some keys for this old 2005 Dodge Caravan. we have a child in a minute. Y'all can see we're in the vehicle. And we're going to go ahead and get it prepared here. Because we're going to read these old keys. You know what I'm talking about? Let me turn the light on again. Yeah. So, real quick, here's the original key. As you see why we programmed, because you know it's got the little broke off thing, so you can't put it on the key ring. So we're going to show y'all. This motherfucker runs and starts the car and all that good shit. You see it's running. Turn that off. We put that right there. Show y'all the other two keys. There's one, two. Show y'all that neither one of these work. They start the car for like a couple seconds, and then cut right back off. See, and see it cut off. And here's the second key that we're gonna try to program. See, cuts on for a couple seconds, and then it cuts off. So now we gotta go ahead and find the VIN or put the VIN in. So we're gonna get back at y'all in a second as we put that in. All right, we've already put the VIN and everything in, you know what I'm talking about? So now we got to put in on some 2006 and newer, I mean, and older models, you got to put in a pin, which we already went to the dealership and they gave it to us for free. So give me a second while I put that in. All right, let's see. <clears throat> so, the learned key in ignition. Hit OK. OK. So press OK to program another key or cancel to exit program key. Select ignition key per to start in the vehicle. Move the key for the ignition, insert the new key in the ignition, and turn the ignition on to run position. All right, that's the original key. Now yeah, we're gonna get one of the two over here. Turn that to on, as you can see, and then we're gonna hit OK. Program of new ignition key was successful. Hit OK. Now it says, press OK to program another key or cancel the exit program key cycle. Ignition key prior to starting the vehicle. So I'm going to hit OK. <laughs> now remove the key from the ignition, insert the new key in the ignition, and turn the ignition on. So this is key number two, the last and final one. Put it in ignition now, turn it on, and then we're going to hit OK. Program with a new ignition key was successful, hit OK. Now we're not programming any more keys, so, so let's make sure, press OK to program another key or cancel to exit program key, cycle ignition key prior to starting the vehicle. Hit cancel. Take key out. We're going to just sink the measure, open the door. Now, we'll put the new key, because remember I said the old, the original key had that missing. So we'll put the new key in, turn it on. We'll turn the ignition. Now let's turn it on. And it didn't cut off this time. So guess what that means, ladies and gentlemen? It works. That's one key. Let's try it. Put that one over here. Try the new. Well, here's another new key. Try to put it in. 
see the cycle. Now let's turn it on. That one's programmed. Turn that motherfucker off. Got the key. Put it over here with the other one. Then we grab the original key. Because in most vehicles, when you do this, it will wipe out all the keys if you don't have all the keys together to program. So, all three keys work. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about it. We're going to wrap this up now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker, the locksmith edition. We're going to holler at y'all the next time around.